I like to present some innovations in uh, laparoscopic uh, inguinal hernia uh, repair as well as uh, ventral hernia like uh, umbilical, paraumbilical, epigastric, etc. I'll start off with uh, inguinal hernia. This is a patient you can see three markings. The one closer to the umbilicus is for introduction of the uh, camera, that's the camera port, that's the top one. The middle one is for the right hand operating and the lowermost suprapubic is for the left hand. So all the three ports in the midline. Here, the entry insufflation affair uh, is uh, a direct puncture. Put a small nick in the suprapubic uh, region close to the pubic bone. Put a small nick using a 11 blade and uh, introduce the various needle connected to a to the gas insufflator and thrust that needle for about four to five centimeter in most of the cases you are in the retropubic space the cave of uh, red sears and um, that's a direct puncture it's very simple and usually the bladder is emptied no catheter needed the, ask the patient to empty the bladder before going to the theater table. Look at the small wound, that's for a 5 mm, 30 degree telescope. And that is used for the camera. A 5 mm port is introduced through the small nick in the uh, infra umbilical region, a subcutaneous tunnel is made and a trocar, fireman trocar is uh, thrust down into the retro pubic space. And the trauma is very little, it uh, punctures the linear alba in the middle and uh, a fireman telescope connected to the camera is passed passed through the uh, port. So the, that's the camera port. The, the metal one is the camera port. The other two, the apple trocars for the operating ports in the midline. Same thing, metal trocars, three metal trocars, the spiral two fireman trocars for the operating port, the suprapubic and the middle one and the top one is for the camera. Here what you see is actually the lowermost port that's the supra pubic fireman port is replaced with a tenement port for introducing insertion of uh, the mesh. Normally a 10 centimeter, 15 centimeter mesh is used a soft mesh and this is for introduction of the mesh. This can be seen from above. So mesh is passed under vision. That's another advantage. It doesn't get stuck on the way when you introduce it from top blindly. That's the advantage. Again this car will be will not be seen because it's just so pubic. This is uh, same thing, the upper two, the camera port, middle 5 mm port and the lowermost 10 mm port for introducing uh, insertion of uh, the uh, proline mesh. Same thing. Now you are going to see the video clipping which demonstrates what I had already described. The pressure to start off is set at uh, 20 
millimeters of mercury. Set it. Yeah, that's a subcutaneous tunnel using a straight artery forceps. That's a 5 mm port, metal port. That is uh, punctured at uh, 4 centimeters from the uh, umbilicus. That goes straight down to the uh, space of riches. You can see what is happening. So it's already there. That is uh, that seems to be a direct hernia. Yeah. That's a supra pubic port. Five mm port again. Then you have the middle port. See, lower two ports are the operating ports. Here I am using a an old uh, round. Uh, road like thing actually we used to use this in the past as a liver retractor that is being in use for erection and the trauma is very little that is done now before introducing one your dissection is complete now you are have you are introducing the mesh you can see the mesh going down under vision so that's another innovation and here what I have done, the cord structures and the vaster friends are coming in front of the split uh, mesh and mesh is fixed and this splitting doesn't uh, affect uh, the strength of the mesh at all. At the same time, this prevents any migration of the mesh. Mesh gets locked there. and. I've been doing it for quite some time and uh, we haven't had any problem at all, but uh, not necessarily one should do it always. This is one of those innovations. I have described the direct puncture to insufflate the retropubic space and second, five mm ports to start off, three five mm ports and uh, before putting the mesh inside, Change the supra pubic 5 mm port with a 10 mm port and mesh if cut laterally that will stay in the same position without any change even you can avoid using a tracker not necessarily but this is uh, this is one of those innovations I have been doing it for quite some time.